death of the wife of a clergyman during the sickness of her husband by Lydia Sigourney. Dark sorrow brooded over Pesta's home. The prayer was silent and the loving group that sang the hymn of praise at even and morn now dropped in pain of the noiseless step tended the sick. It was a time of woe, days measured out in anguish and drear nights mocking the eye that waited for the dawn. They who from youth the hoarded vows conjoined had borne life's burdens with united arm and side by side its adverse fortunes foiled apart an agonizing warfare fought with nature's stern destroyer. Tidings passed from couch to couch, or stood the doubtful strife twixt life and death. They might not lay their hand upon each other's throbbing brow, or breathe the words of comfort, for disease had set a gulf between them. Hark what sound appalled, the suffering husband, t'was a mourner's sob beside his bed. My mother will not speak, they say she's dead. Art thou the messenger, poor boy, for whom the love had gently soothed the cradle moan, that mid thy sports had traced the great creator's name, and on through life mid all its wanderings and adversities, which still have clung to thee untired, unchanged, is blotted out for ever? Thou dost tell a loss, or canst not measure. She, the friend, the mother, imaged in those daughters' hearts, first, dearest, best beloved, who joyed to walk the meek companion of the man of God, hath given a hand to the destroyer's grasp, rifled at the clay cottage, sending forth the immortal habitat. Fearless she laid earth's vestments by. And thou, whose tenderest trust did strongly rivet on that marble form, whose confidence in that cold breast was sealed so fearlessly and long, lift up thy soul, she is not here but risen. Show the faith which thou hast preached to others, by its power in the dark night of trouble, Take the cross and from thy bruised heart pour freshly forth the spirit of thy Lord, teaching thy flock to learn Jehovah's lessons. Be still.